What is the difference between Piaf, Virtulinth, Anaconda? I am a Ruby programmer trying to learn Python. I am pretty familiar with Piaf since it is like a copy and paste from Venv. Piaf helps allow to have more than one version of Python in a system and also to isolate the Python without touching sensitive parts of system. I suppose every Python installation comes with pip package. What I still don't understand is, there are many good Python libs out there that suggest to use this Virtualinv and Anaconda. I can even find a Virtualinv plugin for Piaf. Now I am getting confused with the purpose of these two Piaf and Virtualinv. Worse inside Piaf there is a Virtualinv plugin. My questions are. What is the difference between Piaf and Virtualinv? Is there any difference in using pip command inside both Piaf and Virtualinv? What does this Piaf Virutalinv do? Your explanation with example will be highly appreciated. Edit, it's worth mentioning pip here as well, as Honda and pip have similarities and differences that are relevant to this topic. Pip, the Python package manager, You might think of pip as the Python equivalent of the Ruby gem command. Pip is not included with Python by default. You may install Python using Homebrew, which will install pip automatically. Brew install Python. The final version of OS did not include pip by default. To add pip to your Mac systems version of Python, you can sudo easy underscore install pip. You can find and publish Python packages using pipi the Python package index, the requirements.txt file is comparable to the Ruby gem file. To create a requirements text file, pip freeze is greater than requirements.txt. Note, at this point, we have Python installed on our system, and we have created a requirements.txt file that outlines all of the Python packages that have been installed on your system. Piaf, Python version manager. From the docs, Piaf lets you easily switch between multiple versions of Python. It's simple, unobtrusive, and follows the Unix tradition of single-purpose tools that do one thing well. This project was forked from Venv and Ruby build and modified for Python. Many folks hesitate to use Python 3. If you need to use different versions of Python, Piaf lets you manage this easily. Virtualenv, Python Environment Manager From the docs, the basic problem being addressed is one of dependencies and versions, and indirectly permissions. Imagine you have an application that needs version 1 of Lifeu, but another application requires version 2. How can you use both these applications? If you install everything into break time equals ones, greater than, or whatever your platform's standard location is, it's easy to end up in a situation where you unintentionally upgrade an application that shouldn't be upgraded. To create a virtual env, simply invoke virtual env env, where env is as a directory to place the new virtual environment. To initialize the virtual env, you need to source env slash bin slash activate. To stop using, simply call deactivate. Once you activate the virtual env, you might install all of a workspace's package requirements by running pip install r against the project's requirements.txt file. Anaconda, package manager plus environment manager plus additional scientific libraries. Anaconda is a commercial distribution of Python, with the most popular Python libraries, you are not permitted to use Anaconda in an organization with more than 200 employees. From the docs Anaconda 4.2.0 includes an easy installation of Python, the 2nd of July 2012, 
3.4.5, and or 3.5.2, and updates of over 100 pre-built and tested scientific and analytic Python packages that include NumPy, Pandas, SciPy, Matplotlib, and IPython, with over 620 more packages available via a simple Conda install package name. As a web developer, I haven't used Anaconda. It's 3GB including all the packages. There is a slimmed down Miniconda version, which seems like it could be a more simple option than using pip plus virtualin, although I don't have experience using it personally. While Conda allows you to install packages, these packages are separate than pipi packages, so you may still need to use pip additionally, depending on the types of packages you need to install. See also Conda vs Pip vs Virtualinv Section in Documentation from Anaconda The Difference Between Pip and Conda Stack Overflow The Relationship Between Virtualinv and PyF Stack Overflow Simple Analogy PyF or Benv Pip Bumbler Virtualinv Gemset in RVM this can be managed by Bumbler directly without Gemset. Since I use Python 3, I prefer the Python 3 built-in virtual environment named Venv. Venv is simple and easy to use. I would recommend you to read its official docs. The doc is short and concise. In Ruby, we don't really need a virtual environment because the Bumbler takes care of it. Both virtual end and Bumbler are great, however, they have different solutions to solve the same problem. Simple explanation, this URL. If you have used pip and virtual imp in the past, you can use conda to perform all of the same operations. Pip is a package manager, virtual imp is an environment manager, conda is both. Thank you.